G'day everyone. I'm in Germany. Do I look lonely? Cause, cause I am lonely. Hmm. So this is second night in Germany and seventh night sleeping on my own in a youth hostel. A worrying trend. Who would have thought it'd be so lonely? So what do I want to talk about today? Uh, so I was chatting with a with a mate from Oz, and he mentioned he's turning 30. So today I want to talk about turning 30. I've turned 30 just recently. Turning 30 for the second time, in fact. And there's a bit of a story behind it. Two stories, in fact. So my first 30th birthday, I was in Saigon. In a little guest house on uh, De Tam Street, which is like the backpack area of Saigon. And how to describe it? It's sort of like, uh, it's sort of like a pineapple. Like on the outside, it's all thorny. And you know, everyone's trying to like scam you or sell you like Lonely Planet books or, uh, you know, stuff like that. But you go inside and it's all nice and sweet inside there's all these alleyways and you know the kids are playing and uh, all that sort of stuff it was actually quite nice now I was there for a couple of weeks and I just happened to have arrived just before the start of Tet Tet is the Vietnamese New Year and what it does is sort of like New Year's and Christmas and everybody's birthdays all at once. And your birthday is Tet. Everyone's birthday is Tet. So I turned 30 years old and it was all official and everything because uh, I even have like, um, like uh, hospital records and stuff that says that I was 30 years old. Maybe I'll talk about that later. <laughs> um, and everyone gets new clothes and they, they all spend the next few days like walking around in their new clothes. Everyone looks really, really shiny. They get all this uh, gifts of money and stuff like that and they all start gambling and everyone's like gambling in the, in the alleyways and stuff like that. Everything's closed. Like there's no, there's no like tourism going on. And it's, it's pretty hard to, to, you know, live that tourist experience. But for me, it was a lot of fun because it's it's actually one of those things that's a, a real uh, bit of culture, and I was quite fortunate to experience it. I didn't really plan on it; it just sort of happened, and it was a lot of fun. Now I got <laughs> given this, uh, this giant bowl of uh, sticky, like a sticky rice. It was like a rice pudding. Um, bowl of of rice and inside was all this uh, pork and this was like given to me as, as like uh, you're an honored guest and stuff like that and you know it's uh, it's it's a thing of, of who's the first person to walk into the door on Tet and it was me I'd been staying there for a couple of weeks and they liked me and I liked them and all that sort of stuff so I was given this ball thing of of rice pudding and a few uh a few buns uh, like chocolate uh chocolate buns that were that were quite nice but this ball of pork and rice was oh my god it, my stomach was just turning just smelling it it was um it was not not to my tastes <laughs> I really I don't like eating meat in Southeast Asia. It uh, it's always such a such a depressing experience. You know, it's that cow had uh, or pig or or snake or or whatever had a had a pretty hard life uh, before it ended. But you know you can't turn down food, especially when it's given to you on debt. So uh, up in my room, I. Um, I actually had a, a few little uh, Ziploc bags <laughs> and I stuffed all the 
<laughs> all the all the pork and rice into this Ziploc bag and and smuggle it out the door the next day. Mm, yes, it was delicious. Thank you. And that was my my first thirtieth birthday in Vietnam. My second thirtieth birthday was in Belgium, in Flanders. I was uh, I was volunteering at this little organic farm run by this. Uh, quite amazing young man named Walter and I just sort of casually mentioned I think in the evening that it was my birthday because I, I like I I don't I'm getting used to this birthday thing but um, I, I want to keep it low-key and if people have time to prepare then you know I, I really I really don't like that it doesn't it doesn't make me feel comfortable and we had we had a really great evening. It was uh, just a normal night, you know. We come together and we all eat at the at the dinner table and stuff like that. We eat like mostly produce from the farm, and um, I spent the night chatting, you know, having a few beers. It was really good. I spent oof, the rest of the evening chatting with this uh, just this awesome young lady from from England named uh Josie and she's just uh she was she's so smart and such a joy to talk to so it was uh it was really a great day but turning 30 yes it's uh it's it's been an interesting experience both times at first I was kind of like uh turning 30 that's not so great usually I don't think about these things but I think it's it's human it's just human nature. Uh, it's just a stupid number that ticks over. But uh, now, I, now I don't really care. Like, honestly, I was, I was born in my forties. This is uh, that's just the way I am. I was never much of a party guy or anything like that. And turning thirty, like now that I talk to people and stuff like that, and I can say that I'm thirty. Uh, it seems as though I'm allowed to be myself now. I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to be a party guy, and I'm not a, a weird person if I if I'm not. So turning thirty, it's been great. And I'm healthier than I've ever been, which is awesome. I'm fitter. I'm uh, I'm having a lot of fun, and well, when I meet people. <laughs> But being thirty is uh, has been awesome. It's been it's been absolutely awesome, and I look forward to the rest of my thirty, and thirty one and thirty two and all of them. I reckon it's going to be pretty good. Well, peace, love. Hope everything's going well with you guys. I'll catch you later.